Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming a what I eat in a day video and I'm super excited. But before we get started, let me say this first. So the purpose of this video is to inspire you with different kinds of recipes and meals idea, but I will not tell you exactly the amount of food I'm eating because we're all different. Our bodies are different and we need different amount of food. And also what I eat today doesn't necessarily reflect what I will eat tomorrow because some days I am hungrier than others. So I really don't want to influence anybody on the amount of food they should eat. I hope this makes sense. Also, another thing I would like to mention is that this video is in collaboration with TIJ and Iwer and Miraga, which I would like to thank for sending me some beautiful glasses and content lenses that I can't wait to show you. Oh, actually, did any of you notice that my eye color in this video is not the usual brown, but it's glacier color. I always wanted to change my eye color, at least, you know, momentarily just to try it out, something different every once in a while. It's nice. Anyways, let's get started. I start my morning with a big glass of water and then a super simple breakfast with some granola, fresh strawberries, blueberries, and almond milk. And also today I'm going for a shot of espresso with a little bit of sugar. For today's lunch, I want to make some pasta with asparagus and ricotta. I fry up a small onion in a tablespoon of olive oil for just a couple of minutes. I also prepare the asparagus by simply removing the hard bottom part of it that it will just break off once you bend the asparagus. Then I put them in the pan with the onion. Gosh, I can never center them all in the pan. Anyways, then I add some salt and also some paprika. I let it cook for five minutes and then I cover them with a lid and I leave them on the side. Once the water starts to boil, I add in the salt and I drop in the pasta. With a fork, I fold the pasta down just like this. And in this case, I chose linguine because I think they are the perfect match. Cook the pasta for a couple of minutes less than what is specified in the pasta box. While the pasta cooks, I decided to also take an extra step and whip up the ricotta so it's even more creamy. And look at that! Once the pasta is ready, but still al dente, don't forget it, save up some pasta water, drain it and throw it with the asparagus and the creamy ricotta. I poured some pasta water in the mixer to clean it out from the ricotta and I add it in the pan. All right, once the pasta is cooked, but also still a little bit al dente, I serve it onto the plate and I add in a drizzle of olive oil. And just like this, my lunch is ready. Basically, it took me around 15 minutes to make this pasta dish and I couldn't have been more satisfied. Mm. And as a side, I simply had a few pieces of celery and carrot with some homemade hummus that are really nice and refreshing. And I also grabbed some of this amazing salted dark chocolate because I couldn't resist. I love dark chocolate. And after lunch, I like to go on a nice walk in the neighborhood with Steve and I'm wearing my new sunglasses from TIJ and I wear, which I really, really like. And I feel like after the walk, I have more energy to carry on with my day. And 
now after the nice walk outside I'm ready to tackle some work on the computer and I'm excited to use my new glasses from TIJN which I think they are perfect for me I love this shape they have they add a touch of elegance that I really like Now is snack time, and snacks are always different for me. It depends on what I have on hand, what I feel like. Sometimes they're savory, sometimes they're sweet. And today I'm going for these crunchy chickpeas that I made. That They're so crunchy. Listen to this. If I still feel like I want something or I need to stop eating those, then I'll just grab a fruit like banana, oranges, grapes, whatever I have on hand. That makes me last until dinner perfectly. And after a very busy day, I wanted to keep dinner as quick and easy as possible. So today I'm going for a very simple wrap with a side of green beans. I slice a zucchini and I cook it at high heat for five minutes on one side and just a couple of minutes on the other side. Meanwhile, I'm also boiling some green beans in salted water for just five minutes and then simply dress them with balsamic glaze and olive oil. I prepare the wrap with some cream cheese and some guac that I quickly whipped up by smashing a small avocado with salt, a bit of turmeric, pepper, and a piece of garlic, of course. Then in the same pan, I heat up the wrap and I add the zucchini, some fresh lettuce and cherry tomatoes. I actually usually go for some finely cut sun-dried tomatoes because I really like them in wraps, but this time I didn't have any on hand. So cherry tomato it is. So in just a couple of minutes, without dirtying any other pans, the wrap is nice and crunchy and my dinner is served. A piece of fruit after dinner is always a good idea for me. It's refreshing and it just closes off my meal. I'm going with an orange today. And I would be lying if I said that after dinner I'm done eating for the day because usually I like to have a little dessert a couple of hours after dinner and so today I'm going to have these yogurt coconut and almond bites that I made and they are so good I will post the recipe really soon cheers Well, my day has come to an end. I hope I gave you some inspiration. Also, feel free to comment below what is your go-to meal during a really busy day so that people can get even more inspiration down in the comments below. Also, I would like to thank again Miraga and TIJN Iwer for collaborating with me in this video. I really like the products I got and I strongly suggest you go check out their website because they have affordable products but very trendy so thank you again for watching please leave it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe for new weekly recipes bye bye